welcome to the daily insights that matter. We begin today's DITM by talking about the capital expenditure boom seen in the PSU banks as they hit 34% of their capex target in the April to August period. Now we spoke about the private capex which has lagged in the recent episode of the third umpire. The PSUs have hit 34% of their capex target in the April to August period. Now, public sector undertakings or PSUs as they are well known, which have a capital expenditure target of 100 crore rupees and above, saw their combined capital spending touch over 34% of the annual target of 6.62 trillion rupees on August 31st. The central PSU spent 2.3 trillion rupees during the April to August period of 2022. Now, the PSUs have lived in the shadow of their privately owned peers for the greatest part of the past decade. That looming shadow appears to be retreating now and rather quickly. The government has been putting a lot of focus on getting the PSUs to increase their capital spending in order to stimulate economic activities within the country. Now, the PSUs have to monthly submit data on the capex undertaken by them, the target for which is laid out in the union budget. Overall, the centre through government departments and PSUs has been lifting the economy through capital spending as investments from the private sectors have been lagging. Now, it appears that the foreign trade policy for the years 2021 to 2026 is not going to be announced. This is the second time that the current policy has been extended since its launch in 2015. The foreign trade policy is a set of the guidelines governing matters related to the import and export of goods by India. Now, the international trade is dictated by an enormous number of continuously moving factors. Hence, a foreign trade policy needs to be updated periodically. Now, a stagnant policy won't be of any real help to the economy if it can't adapt to these dynamics. Now, the last foreign trade policy originally for a five-year period from 2015 to 2020 was deferred twice in 2020 and 2021, citing the unprecedented uncertainties caused by the pandemic. The foreign trade policy was deferred and the current policy was extended until March 2020 and then till September 30, 2020 due to the COVID-related disruptions. Now, the foreign trade policy has been postponed once again on the back of global macroeconomic challenges as we are all aware. Now, the new foreign trade policy's postponement was not a big surprise given the current global conditions, which are highly erratic. Many developed and emerging countries are suffering from rising inflation and unpredictability as a result of the geopolitical developments. Now, not bringing a long-term foreign trade policy is maybe a wise choice in our understanding. Now, with Indians going on a spending spree, the household's savings rate fell to the lowest in five years in the year ending 31st March 2022. The gross financial savings of households stood at 10.8% of India's GDP or gross domestic product in FY 2022, falling sharply from the 15.9% in FY21 levels. Now, at the start of COVID, more and more Indians saved money in the early days as they were worried about higher medical bills and an impact on their jobs which would hit their income. Now, this resulted in the savings rate rising substantially to 21% of the GDP in the June quarter of FY21, as people had very few avenues to spend during the lengthy lockdowns. Now, with the higher savings, they went on a revenge spending spree as the pandemic's impact faded and depleted their savings as they amassed. Now, while there are multiple takeaways from this update alone, which we will cover over the course of our episodes, today we talk about the consumption pickup post the pandemic. We've said it multiple times in the past that one should never bet against the India's consumption story. And this news furthers that point as more and more Indians are looking to spend even during high inflationary regime. So what does all of this news mean for you? The PSU spending, despite the lag in private sector, is the booster shot for the economy. This will have an indirect positive impact on you. Now, we believe that a foreign trade policy is expected to be the key to defining the strategy for India to capture a significant share in the global market. However, the macroeconomic environment is not favorable for bringing in a long-term foreign trade policy. So the extension of the current foreign trade policy will more or less have a neutral impact on you. Now, from a consumption standpoint, the pickup in demand is a big positive at a time when the festive season has just about begun. 
this will have an indirect positive impact on you. Now, while I say this, this is Raj Mehta signing off, wishing you and your loved ones the very best. Thank you. Did you like watching this video? Then download our app, Informed Investor, to watch more such informative and interesting videos.